Well, let's say I would start up all over again um, from the ground up. And that has been the, the question that has been asked to me so many times, um, including on the last race. Um, I know that um, everyone is like looking for a simplified guide um, or the ultimate guide, honestly, on how to actually start up or even, well, to our ex-cons there to restart their well, me addiction. Uh, I think um, almost a year back then, I have made like a, a guide on how to start up. Um, but let's make it maybe somewhat more simpler. So to start with, um, I'm going to be just discussing like two categories here since we're talking about a startup. So let's start with the easiest one, the box talk. Um, well, on box talk, um, starting up is actually very simple but it's mostly just again um, as i've ever said before you would need to buy a kit but this time i am completely suggesting um just go for a well preferably a kit that you would really want to to buy is the ma chassis or any ma um chassis kit preferably the ones with the medium um well will set so um why the ma chassis because well basically the ma chassis has the most potential of all um again um it has the most potential at the same time um you can actually just buy maybe a basic kit like for 650 pesos um it could go as far as 750 but for our like financial guide from of course a licensed financial advisor well maybe that's me but anyways <laughs> um 650 let's stick with 650 um plus of course you would need a, a battery um batteries um if you're gonna be going for like the fujitsu um preferably it's gonna be on like around 300 pesos a pair um that's not like the, the cheapest although that somehow is where the prices are averaging so um you're all you're already all set there honestly but you also would need to charge that battery so one best suggestion that i could actually give out is that you start with a well the palo chargers um it is the same one that i am using um why the palo charger because well it although you can buy it in an eight bay or a four bay but mine is a 12 bay but as a starter i would suggest to get uh, at least an eight bay um why also um this specific charger um it's because it has a refresh option so that you can actually cycle up your your battery so yeah um though some would say you could prefer to get an mc 2200 or even go for an opus charger or even a like it's i think the brand name is lito kala it's similar to the opus chargers um but like the nc 2200 it's only basically you're only able to charge four but hey mike i'm only starting up i only have a pair of battery um think ahead um think about the future if you're gonna be entering this hobby i mean you will well, i mean you will never be satisfied with just one unit honestly so there um that would put up like a startup price around two thousand pesos um it's uh, not really thousand pesos but it could be lower but i'm talking about if you're gonna be getting a charger the charger would be at least 1000 pesos but it could be lower since the palo chargers um actually they don't really go for 1000 pesos but if you're up like around 
thinking of getting an NC2200 from Sky RC, then it could go up to like 1,200 pesos. So basically, it's up there uh, between 1,900 to 2,000 pesos to start up in a box stock. But if you're if you're already having your own charger, then basically you would only need like um, around 1,050 pesos to start up. But then again, let's be honest here. Um, what I have mentioned about the box stock, um, this is just a startup. This does not mean that you will be winning, um, well, instantly or week in, week out winnings. Uh, but it's it's a start. Yeah, it's a start. Again, so um, 2,000 pesos should be able, to, well, as an entry for the box stock category. Um, well, for our part two of this video, um, it's going to be out um, hopefully by the weekend next week um, or this week as well. So we're going to be talking about where we will be talking about how to be actually be competitive on the box stock category and also to our next entry level category, which is somehow very versatile. But for the box stock, it's pretty basic. Just stock a stock motor, um, out mostly out of the box kit should already go for it. So that's two thousand pesos for the box stock. Um, that includes the charger, the battery again, and the kit. So let's move on to the next category for as a startup, or as start to start a basic startup guide. Um, the pro stock or super stock depending on which region you are but then again for the pro stock i'm gonna be talking about um two pro stocks of course that will be the the one that we have there in luzon which is the pro stock ph and the actual pro stock international or the super stock that we have here in visayas now let's start from the ground up um basically there's um two options that you will have one is buying a kit um, and like um, building it up from there and also an option to fully build it up from the ground um, like buying everything separately um, there's also a, a few options here but um, as a start as a basic hassle-free start to the pro stock I would choose or suggest a chassis, um, not suggest a chassis, but rather um, like to start it up as a hassle-free um, option, which for the latter option that you have from the ground up is the AR chassis. Um, I don't know if that really made sense, but um, the AR chassis, as expensive as it is, Maybe that's why it's expensive because it's like mostly in demand it's that's the easiest one to to actually build up from so prices here included so basically um for me that the cheapest um ar chassis that i have seen online is around like 300 pesos some would include internals and some would actually not include internals and that's a chassis only but i would strongly suggest um to look for the the sellers that would include the internals um if they have offered you the eyelets or the eyelets for um like the wheel shaft that's already a good deal at 300 pesos but if not um the eyelet would cost you around like 125 pesos if you're gonna be opting for an original um, OG Tamiya um, eyelets um, and after that um, the one that you would need for the air chassis is of course you would need DPRs or the double plastic rollers um, that would set you aside like 120 passes the additional of course and you would also need a um, but 120 pesos by the way that's mostly already have two pairs it has should have two pairs um you should be able to to look that one up 
either in Lazada or in Shopee um, under like AD Toys or Project Bees. So basically, that that um, double plastic roller, um, it's um, how should I? It's not an original Tamiya, but mostly an imitation or a, a, a copy of it. So that's why it's very somewhat um, on the cheaper side. It's only 120 pesos. Um, also, you would need a for stability. You would need a, a roller uh, or O ring. Um, you can actually mix and match this one up. You can opt for just buying two pairs of O-ring rollers that should set you aside at 50 pesos, or around 50 to 80 pesos per pair. So you can actually put um, like a pair at front as an O-ring and a pair also at the back as an O-ring. Um, no need for um, like the, the lower part of it um, as a guide. But then again, if you're going to be going up for a DPR up front, then I would suggest to go for another DPR at the back on the top, the top side, and a an O-ring option below. Yeah, that sounds something like a, like a cock ring. But yeah, it's it's a 13 mm um, rollers or O-ring rather at the back, or you can combine it with a 16 mm on top and, and down there. Um, down below um, to ensure that you have a DPR up front. Um, but for me, um, having a, a roller below the chassis, it's just a recipe for disaster. Believe me, it would always catch on the track and it won't go back again. You would also need a, a cowl or a cowl or an ER chassis, um, but it will be dependent on you. Maybe let's say we average it out at 200 pesos. Um, you can opt for a copy um, version or a Tamiya version. But let's say let's average it out as the cheapest at again, 200 pesos. So that's, um, let's do a quick recap. That's 300 for the chassis, 120 for the DPR set, and also um 125 for the eyelets and 50 pesos for the o-ring for stability and well of course as a startup again you would need batteries so batteries again it's at 300 either fujitsu or antelope as a pair so you would also need a charger for that battery so that's going to be like again um let's average it out at 1000 pesos for a decent one but again as i would suggest suggested earlier um the Palo charger are, are quite good. Um, you can, if you want to go um, cheaper um, or I mean future proof, I would suggest the Palo chargers. It's the same one I have been using and I have been winning. So it's not bad. Um, some would say get a, get a smart charger rather. Well, honestly, I, I have a smart charger. I have an EV Peak C4. Uh, which i'm also selling right now if you want to buy it just message me um i'll put a picture here um should be around the sides or top or below um you can message me on facebook if you want it it should be fairly new it has been taken care of um though it had some issues running but yeah uh, I'm, again i'm selling here no uh, enough about that um Going back, um, you can opt to get a smart charger, um, like uh, the the basic smart charger you can probably get is a IMAX B6. Should cost you around 1,500 pesos, but then again, you will need to buy a battery tray. Battery trays right now, um, before it was running for around like 750, but right now it's, I think it's between 800 to 900 pesos. So it's more than 2,000 pesos already right out, right out there so um moving on it's we would have your motor now um this is quite um very subjective i have priced the motor as an average price of 230 pesos but you can go up more cheap cheaper i mean um going for the tortune 2 or the atomic 2 there's some dogs and cats outside I don't know if you can hear that through the mic. 
hopefully it's not but anyways um motors um uh, the 230 pesos i'm actually basing that one on the hyper dash 3 japan cap version why uh, i would suggest that that you know, at least if you want to be very competitive uh, at the start of your pro stock um, campaign um the hyper 3 you can actually it, it's gonna be pretty good pretty versatile honestly um you can actually use it for and pair it with a 5 is to 1 gear and it should be sufficient enough to be stable with a dpr up front or if you're going to be opting to go for an o-ring up front then it should be sufficient enough for a 4.2 or a 4.1 gear pair paired on a medium um wheel set so again, um, speaking of medium wheel set, that should also um, set you aside like, um, let's say I'm gonna be going uh, up top, like around 300 pesos. That includes the the, the ma mags and the actual tires. So that's the wheel set that you have. Also for the gears, um, this is actually very important. Gears would set you aside like for the pink gears, it's gonna be at least 100 pesos. For 10 pieces uh, if you are able to buy it by like just two pieces it could just cost you around like 10 to 15 pesos for each one not repair um, it's not the early 2010s so yeah uh, it's 100 pesos that's a full pack then you will need to choose gears so that would set you aside like around 30 uh, additional like uh, 30 pesos but i suggest to get a uh, 5 1 gear if you're going to be opting for a um, you know um, a hyper dash 3 and a 4 is to 1 gear at least in between um, if you're going to be opting for a, a light dash i would suggest to go for a 3.5 or a 4 is to 1 the 4 is to 1 or the 4.2 should be a staple on your arsenal next up would be the propeller shaft don't forget about that the propeller shaft um basically a single one should cost you around like between um 20 to 30 pesos if it's above that that's already beyond expensive and i would suggest don't ever buy it with those people if they're charging you more than 30 pesos 30 pesos already on the expensive side honestly um before it was well, basically being given out for free so um wheel shaft um wheel shaft should be around between like 50 pesos a pair or like 40 pesos a pair or between 40 to 50. so you would need that um you have the wheel set also don't forget about your screws um don't have your screws loose so let's say that would just set you aside around 50 pesos um it would be dependent on how you really view on it the basic step screws should that 50 pesos is already on the expensive side to be honest you would need to have at least six of them or basically a basic of four if you're going to be opting for the o-ring so that should set you aside for like around three thousand pesos that includes the charger um the cowl um but basically it could be a bit lower if you're able to get again um, a cheaper charger or cheaper option the 1000 pesos um it's somehow on this um not really on the steep side but not on the cheap side as well just somehow average um that should be sufficient enough but if you already have like a charger then no need to worry about that but i would always suggest to get a charger to the minimum requirement for the charger that you will be getting is that it must absolutely have a refresh option so that you can cycle out your batteries since if you just keep on topping or you just charge it up no no discharge for the batteries well how should we say it? it's gonna be allow allow or unripe um at the bottom part of it at or towards the end of it 
and it won't be actually be good for the cycle of it but anyways um, i did say there's another option um, the other option is opting out for a kit if you can actually buy a kit um the the basic tamiya kit let's say um you're gonna be going for the ar setup again 700 pesos you should already have a good medium tires will set on it but the additionals that you would need um, if you're going to be opting for a kit of course the motor it's 230 pesos it's going out for the hyper 3 um, um, option the dpr dprs are completely necessary um, for stability either up front or at the back but if you're going to be going um like opting for a um, o-ring setup you don't actually really need the DPR if you're going to be going for the AR chassis. Um, you will also need, um, again, 13 or 16 mm rollers should be around between 50 pesos to 80 pesos. So batteries, of course, again, 300, again, Fujitsu or Enelope, or you can opt for the IKEA um, Lada. Uh, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, of course, again, charger. But this should set you um, around like 2,400, a bit lower, right? So yeah, that, that should be helping you out. But for the kit, if you're going to be opting for the kit, you won't be able to choose any colors or any other colors from the chassis or you can never mix and match. But then again, it's, it's a cheaper option. Again, this is a startup guide, but there's actually somewhat another secret option another cheaper version of this but this is somehow on the um advanced guide um this is like if you're gonna be opting for the er chassis um for example um I'm not, I'm not, this is actually diverting outside the er chassis as a convenience for you since um on our friends there in in Luzon, which they are having the pro stock ph um, also here in Visayas, we are also using this one. You can actually opt to go for the Super 2 chassis. Now for the Super 2 chassis, one of the most important part of it um, is actually the EC lock. Um, the EC lock, it's not quite easy to look for and not quite as easy on the pocket, honestly. Um, one option that you can go for, um, we're going to be giving out examples of kits here. Um, actually are the dash kits the super 2 dash 01 to i think it's 05 version like i think it's the proto emperor version um that should be very good as a start up kit if you want to have a super 2 um build since um those kits would already include the easy lock why the easy lock because well if you're going to be going up for a regular Super 2 chassis, it's a complete hassle to screw in, screw out. That lock for your, well, I think it's your motor holder. Um, let me show you. Um, there should be a video up there. So that is a hassle um, that I have been doing before. And it's a complete hassle, honestly. Now, the, the Super 2 kits would set you aside like 550 pesos. The last time I checked, or just yesterday I actually checked, or last night I checked, it was around 550 pesos. Um, also, um, again, it comes with an easy lock um, for the Dash 01, going to the 05 part of it. Um, there should be some pictures around here. And also, um, that that starts up as saving you already at 150 pesos for the EC lock. Also, um, disc kits uh, mostly would have a large dia um, uh, wheel sets. Uh, most um, specifically, it's the TE37s. And when you say TE37, that means they are being used from our friends or from our brothers in speed tech and that should be selling for like between 200 to 300 pesos 
including the the tires and and the mags or the wheel set, the set itself it should be between um, that price so if you think about it um, the kit cost you 550 the easy lock that comes with the kit cost would cost are you if you will buy it separately at 150 plus the tires for example like you it will cost um it, it is it's selling for i mean it's selling for like 300 pesos so you have the option to sell it out so 400 pesos so you basically just spent 100 pesos on the kit if you think about it so yeah that's some um, financial advising part of it <laughs> also the tail the tail would cost around like between 50 to 100 pesos if you're in Visayas, of course, since we don't use the Super 2 tail. If you're in the ProSoc PH part of the country, of course, you would need this tail. So that tail should be priced again at between 50 to 100 pesos if you sell it out. And also your kit would also come with a motor or a stock motor or a stock motor which should be amounting to between like 30 to 50 pesos. So imagine um, if you put the, the TE37s, that's 300. Um, the Easy Lock at 150, that's already like 450 pesos. Um, if you're able to sell the tail for 50 pesos and also sell off the stock motor, possibly at 50 pesos as well, then the kit itself it's for free so boom mind blown right it's already for free um me um as for me i have actually a trimmer what i would usually do is that i would trim the tires and sell it off as a trim tire but then again um i will be including the shaft so that's um come out um so, but i can sell it off like 450 um straight up anyways um, you would also need again the motor that's 230 pesos but for the super 2 um, I think um, the highest you can go is like um, light dash for a regular pro stock pH setup or it's regular pro stock pH build I think the light dash would also be uh, it's already fast enough since if you go for a light dash 4.1 or a force to one gear it will definitely fly, fly off track but here in in the precise area you can actually go even up to the power dash honestly um also the average is of course the hyper 3 or any of the lower part of it again it's a combination of gears and motors so um batteries you will need that one we'll put it at 300 dpr again at 120 um 13 or 16 mm rollers you would need that either between like 50 to 80 pesos so charger it's average out at 1000 of course since the kit came with a large dia you would need to replace it with a medium wheel set around 300 pesos and again if you're in visayas you would also need to replace the tail which should just set you aside as a measly 50 pesos so um again that should total about like around 2550 pesos um it's quite high um initially but if you're able to sell off like all the other parts of it it should be just 2000 pesos similar to a box stock so boom again um but yeah 2000 pesos so financially um those are the options that you have um you can mix and match the kits you can also go for the tz kits which should be a bit lower this should put your output um at like below 2000 pesos honestly but then again then again this is a small caveat or a gray area or even a silver lining if you think about it um going for the tz or an x chassis it's gonna be a bit advanced so that's why i'm gonna be making a part two 
of this one as a startup guide or even a ultimate guide on how to be competitive this time since what we have discussed here is actually just the basics and just a basic startup um, for of course to be addicted here to our mini four-wheel drive the Mia addiction um, then again um, hmm have I forgotten something hmm oh yeah um, if you have noticed there are um, dollar equivalent that's US dollar or US dollars by the way since we do have some international um, audience as well watching so if you want to get started off um, with the hobby this is the equivalent prices in US dollars just for an easy conversion um, but then again if you're gonna be buying like um, the parts outside the Philippines or in Japan um, it's gonna be quite expensive since well let's be honest I've seen the prices uh, Japan Japan is uh, the cheapest next is the Philippines and I don't know about the third but um, price wise you either Im import your your like parts from Japan if you if you could if you're able to buy in bulk or buy it here in the Philippines it's it's way cheaper compared outside simple is or simplicity is what we are after but then again it's not that simple to be honest so again uh, we will have part two just to elaborate on this again um, anyways um, we I did made a, a startup guide last year and then again this would be the most simplest guide that I could probably make as to date of this year and basically this is our guide and price guide for doing well for the year 2024 um maybe we can this make this an annual one so that prices can be updated as well and i know um get then again this was supposed to be a symbol but for our part two um stay tuned on it um, hopefully I should be able to post part two or shoot part two within this week so that on the weekend we can already put the video out anyways um, by March 20 well March 23 uh, of this year we will be in Iloilo um, we will be joining up with the guys with Leganes um, Iloilo uh, for their I don't know if I think it's an inaugural big race that they have so I'm hoping to see um, mostly everybody there uh, maybe we can talk or drink um, over for some discussions with with the rules that we have here in Tamiya I'm hoping also that some organizers from Rojas would be there so that we can also organize a, a race yeah I'm talking about you guys um, I heard some stories, uh, well, let's say the rules should be laid out before the race starts, not, you know, make something up along the race, especially with, I was actually shocked at the seven degree angle. I think everybody would be shocked on that. Um, let's be honest. Where did we got that? Um, if we can actually show a paper because if I was there I would really ask for something in writing on it um, but then again um, at least Sir Ricky and Sir Abbott has somehow a, a good experience and some quirky ones but anyways um, if you're still here I do thank you um, for subscribing and if you're not a subscriber since I think um, almost 80% or more than 80% are viewing our like videos are not subscribed. So please do help the channel so that we can start giving out actual prices to everybody that or to every subscribers that we have. 
um, it's a waste for the commercials in between our videos as, as you can see some of our videos are already being monetized by YouTube so hopefully hopefully um, subscribe and also ding that notification bell so that you can be the first one to see our video so again cheers and race on living life every day let it die not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own